All right, everybody. So I gotta make the pig feeder for the second pen. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I gotta get this all done and wrapped up. I got pigs coming this weekend, so I really gotta start busting some tail on it. And it decided to drop really cold. So I'm gonna get going on this. I'm gonna need a few two by fours. I'm just gonna go with what I got laying around but I gotta cut them to four foot sections. I need eight of those. I need six two by fours cut into two foot sections. And then I need two sheets of plywood. That's all I own. And uh, a scrap two by six laying around. That's all I'll need for this project along with nails and screws or whatever I use to fasten it all together. But anything else is just excess, either to help it last longer or just protect the feet better. So what I'll be doing is I'm gonna split one sheet of plywood, I'm gonna cut up my two by fours, get those all into the right lengths and then I just slap them all together and that'll be done okay it's very simple just a few cuts and it'll be all done so let's get going on that I'm gonna cut up my two by fours now so bear with me Build up my frame and get this going. So I'm going to opt with screws just because that's what I got readily available. So. Now I gotta build two more of these and I'll skip to you when I got these done. I'll show you the next step. So you'll just build two of these, or sorry, three of these squares, or rectangles, whatever you wanna call them. So you're gonna build, put together three of them and I'll show you what you do after that. Okay, so I got my three built. My next step, Let's connect the three. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do each end of them for now. Okay, so once you have your frame built, all you need to do is cut your plywood to size it. So split one in half. Just split the second one in half, and then you'll take that one of the halves, and you'll split that in half. So what you're left with is three four-footers and two two-footers, all right? It's not all the cutting you're gonna have to do, there will be more, but that's your first step. So we're gonna cut two sheets of plywood. It's gonna be a nice thick one. You're gonna wanna use plywood, not uh, chipboard or OSB, because it holds together better and the pigs won't chew it apart as much, okay? So you're gonna want to slice 
two sheets of roughly three quarter inch plywood. And that's gonna be what's gonna hold your feet, all right? So let me get into that, I'll get that cut, and then we'll start piecing it together and I'll show you what you have. Got all my boards cut, so here's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna take one of the leftover four foot sheets you have, and you're gonna cut 16 inches off of it at a 45 degree angle, okay? Then that piece you're going to use for your lid, all right? So that'll be up here. The 45 degree angle doesn't really matter at that point, all right? is you'll take your other four foot section and you'll cut off of that at a straight 90 degree angle, uh, eight inches, okay? So you now have only one sheet at four by four, at four feet by four feet, and then you have one sheet that is Minus 16 inches at a 45 degree angle. And then your other sheet is minus 8 inches. Okay? And that first one you split that again and it gave you two, two feet by four feet sections. Okay? You're going to make your frame look like this. And what you'll do is you'll slide this full sheet in. So this one will go inside, all right? That's why these are your four foot sections. Here's your two foot section, all right? So this slides in and you'll screw this against it, all right? It doesn't have to be super spectacular because nothing's really going to push on this inward. And even if it does, it'll be full of feet, okay? So there's gonna be plenty of pressure inside of this hopper. So you slide that in, you'll screw it down, okay? I'm just gonna throw a couple more screws up top, and then you put your eight inch piece at the very bottom, down here. And you set that in, you screw that down. Then you take that 16 inch piece, I have mine cut at either end, 45s, and they're both coming in, okay? So that when you lay it, it matches up a little bit better. It's not perfect, you know. My circular saw is really old, so all the numbers are kind of worn out. I'm all right with that. Okay, so now I have that laying in here. I gotta finish screwing all this together. Then I went on a scavenger hunt and started looking for as many scrap two by fours as I could find, okay? So my first 2x4, I cut it and cut all these at a 45 according to my circular saw, which they don't line up exactly right because you know my angles aren't perfect, it's just a pig feeder. But my short side is 7 inches on the first one. And what I'll do is I'll put that in and I'll just screw that down, okay? And that's going to keep this piece from sliding all over the place. So we don't want that to move, but we also have to build a shelf for the last piece to go on the inside because it's not going straight up and down. All right, it's got to go at a slight angle. So I cut my first one at seven inches, and my next one is at nine inches. The one after that is at 11 inches and then 13 inches, okay? They're all cut to a 45. And so when I have it in there, it takes about four stacks to get enough gap to 
to allow the feed to flow smoothly in this. So what I'll do is I'll screw all these down and then I have my last piece which is right here and this one is just at five inches. Okay, so this five inch piece is just going to sit right here at the edge. Now what that's going to do is prevent my board from sliding in and crushing. Okay, so now I have all my boards stacked. I'm going to show you what you do next. I'm going to get all this screwed down and then we're going to come back to that. So I got my blocks screwed in. What I got to do now is I have this sheet that I took the 8 inches off of. Okay. Now all this is going to do I'm just going to slide this in. And it's going to sit just like that at an angle, okay? So, I'm going to get the bottom flush up, top flushed up, and you'll screw it down. And this is why you have to go with such thick plywood, because of your sheet like this, it's going to be supporting a lot of weight. find a nice long at least close to four foot piece of scrap material as you can. I'm going to take that. You're just going to use this as a backing to stop it from sliding out this way now. So now it can't slide in and once I put this in it won't be able to slide out either. And you just want to get there and get as much on it as you can. All right, I'm gonna stand mine up so the pigs don't have trouble getting to the feed. Now that that's all done, what I'll do is I'll take this two foot side, and these go on last. And I just take them all the way up to the top of this, bottom of this board I should say. I'll take them all the way up to the bottom of this board and that'll be exactly what I need. So, it's easiest just to start a screw in corner on both sides. Okay. all the way down. This one needs a few more screws in it because both sides will have that outward pressure and nothing to hold them in. Okay? So you're going to want to make sure this is good and secure. So before I finish this, I'm going to show you exactly what we got going on here. So now we have our feeder box which will be enclosed. Our feed will fill up this box and slide through this gap, okay? This gap will be filled, or this will fill in this feed, alright? So as long as there's pressure on this side to push down on that feed which the feed itself will do with this slant okay 
we'll fill this box and so as the pigs eat they will just keep replenishing it okay so that way they can eat as much as they want and as you can see it gives me a nice solid amount to fill okay so that's what we got So that's what we got, okay? Thanks for watching. This is if you want to build a automatic pig feeder, all right? So it's really handy if you have two to four pigs, one of these works great, all right? I wouldn't put any more than four on this because um, they will fight over it. And then there'll just be a couple that'll get uh, picked on and too small. So, good luck and have fun. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next time.